in this installment of the Airwolf 3D HD video series, we will cover printing in TPE. TPE is a soft material like rubber and is extremely flexible. We will start off by going in matter control, setting our extruder temperature to 260 degrees Celsius. We will need some extra PLA material to complete the next steps. Take your PLA and cut it at an angle. If you are printing with ABS before, remove it from the extruder. Make sure to do this while the machine is fully preheated. Now take your PLA and begin feeding it through the tube. Push the PLA all the way up into the tube until it reaches the extruder and starts coming out of the nozzle. Keep feeding by hand until you start seeing the PLA come through. Once you see a substantial amount of PLA coming through the nozzle, you go ahead and close the latch. We will now go back into matter control and extrude a thousand millimeters of material. This will ensure that the ABS has been purged out completely as this can cause speeding issues with the TPE. After about a thousand millimeters of purging, you should see a nice solid flow of PLA coming out of the nozzle. It is now time to take the PLA out of the machine and insert the TPE filament. A trick to inserting the TPE is to twist it slightly as you are inserting it into the hole. Make sure it goes all the way through the tube and down to the extruder. Now close the latch and insert the pin in the back of the machine. Go back into matter control and hit extrude for another thousand millimeters. We want to purge all the PLA out of the head. The PLA was just used to purge the ABS out of the extruder head. You can now set it aside. Once we get a consistent flow of TPE coming out of the extruder, we'll go into matter control and change the extruder temperature to 235. Now set the bed temperature to 40 degrees Celsius. Go into slice settings and hit options. Go ahead and import TPE setting file. While we're waiting for things to preheat, go ahead and remove the glass from the bed. You will then flip the glass plate over onto the opposite side of the PET film. Place blue painter's tape covering the entire piece of glass. Make sure to not overlap the layers of tape. Place the piece of glass back on the heat bed with the blue tape facing up. Insert your binder clips. In matter control, find the object you'd like to print and hit start.
If you don't see a constant flow of TPE coming out of the nozzle right away, don't be alarmed. It takes a minute to get a nice flow going. After a few passes, if you feel like you're still not getting a good constant flow of TPE coming from the nozzle, go ahead and stop the print and re-purge. Extrude about 500 to another 1000 millimeters of material. Go ahead and try printing again.